British pilots and ground crews scramble to their Apache helicopters. They've been summoned to an urgent call-out. Right now, busy with the task, they're oblivious to their colourful surroundings. Blast walls covered with mural after mural, created by the personnel who serve here, keen to leave their own unique mark on this place. There are around 90 of these across the flight line here at Camp Bastion and every time a new squadron comes in, they add to the artwork. So I'm going to meet an air trooper who's working on a new mural right now. So this is what I, I work off. Katie Carter's role in Afghanistan is to refuel and rearm the Apaches, but before she even arrived here, she also had plans to paint. Before I came out here, I had ideas of what I wanted to do. It's been a goal of mine for a long time to, to actually put some art in Afghanistan. And then when I finally got out here and found out that no one had started designing yet, I sort of jumped at the idea. But producing artwork in a war zone is not straightforward. I've had some difficulties uh, trying to find materials and tools to actually paint with. Um, my, uh, my friends had to send me out paint brushes and uh, I was even going to get the paint sent out. Air Trooper Carter's using those materials to create something very personal to 654 Squadron. The squadron's so close and we work so close together. It was like our family tree. And because Afghanistan is so part of our way of life now, it's like you know you're coming out here, you, you know your job. For now, Army Air Corps squadrons are still being deployed to Afghanistan, but combat troops are due to leave the country by the end of the year. So what happens to the murals? All of it's been captured by the Imperial War Museum so that there's a record of everything that was here. Um, whether we manage to hide any in the containers on the way home amongst all the rest of our kit, well, we'll see what we manage. Katie doesn't have long left in Afghanistan, so the clock's ticking to finish her masterpiece. Cassandra Allwood, Forces News, Camp Bastion.